Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Windbound that came out on Steam yesterday, I believe. It's a survival game and it caught my eye because the graphic style reminded me of The Wind Waker. The, uh, the GameCube Zelda game. So without further ado, let's crack on. Survivalist Storyteller. Um, I mean, I guess it has to be Survivalist, right? Be rude not to. Oh, looks like Elsa. <coughs> Alrighty. So, it kind of looks like I've died. And, um... I'm heading into the light. A weird UI glitch there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could, could see that, the main menu was flickering. <sighs> there it is again, good. The Lost Islands, Chapter 1. So... I really like the art style of this. Um, I don't think this counts as cell shading. Let me know uh, in the comments if this actually is cell shading. I'm, uh, I'm not too versed with that. But I'm usually not a fan of that kind of um, graphical implementation. However, this is kind of cute. Oh, thick grass. This thick, fibrous grass is surprisingly hardy. Okay. Never know. Never know how much thick grass we'll need. Why is the main menu flickering constantly? Hmm... There were quite a few negative reviews on Steam about UI errors and bugs. Unfortunately. Alright, so we got rocks. We don't actually have any specific... Um, like, thing to do, right? Maybe I can swim over here. Is 
So there's a bar depleting. Is that stamina, I guess? Alright, cool. Let's go back up. Old B to sprint. So that bar hasn't fully gone back up. Oh, it is now though. Okay. Dig. New recipe, bone shovel. Okay. Hey, little guy. I can't tell if that noise is someone. Or it's just like generic. Background noise. <laughs> Music intensifies. All right, let's let's have a look at the the obvious focal point here. Pretty. Man, that UI. Awe of the Ancestors, an ornate mysterious awe through ancient, <laughs> through, though ancient, it remains in perfect condition. Occasionally it trembles in your hands as if something resides within. Alrighty. Oh, oh man, this that menu keeps popping up. Alright, press RB to bring up the inventory. Honey grass rope. Well, luckily, I picked up a fair amount of grass. Hang on, because, yeah, this, this UI is um, bugging me. I wonder if I, if I can save my game, restart the game, and see if the, um, the menu stops like flashing on the screen. Because, uh, that's ridiculous. Wonder if... I don't know, maybe it's a V-Sync issue. I don't know. Alright, take two. I think that fixed it. I mean, that really doesn't make much sense, but what are you gonna do, eh? Uh, I need. Oh, so I need grass rope and thick grass. Okay, cool. Let's go pillage all the grass. Thank you. And you. Does this count or is this a bush? Just a bush. 
What's this little guy? Hello. Come here. <laughs> oh. A good snack. Need to replenish a small amount of health and a modest amount of hunger. I assume I'm gonna need that pretty soon. The way the music's playing, I, I keep feeling like I'm gonna stumble upon an NPC that's just kind of playing it. Oh yeah, cool. So I can quickly use food that I picked up. Uh, let's make... Where should we put our canoe? Put it right here. That was fast, good. Sort of just yeet it into the water. Cool, that was painless enough. Some pretty funky looking um, physics there, but that's fine. jump yeah okay oh what is this Nautilus key one out of three. This beautifully adorned shell resonates with a mysterious power. An arcane relic from a bygone era. Okay. Oh, what's that over there? It's some sort of light. Is it getting darker, is it me? Whoops. It's alright, we got food. <laughs> what are the chances of that just jumping off and landing on like the one bit of rock? The thunderstorms. So, I feel compelled to go to the the large, shiny, bright thing. Um, I'm not sure there's much else for me here. However, with the whole stamina and hunger uh, meters, I'm not sure if I can get there in one fell swoop, so I might head over there first. But yeah, so far, not entirely sure. What's going on. But, that's fine. Oh, I can feel... You really do feel the wind. Or feel the currents. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds are actually nice though. Definitely got that going for it. I really can't tell if I'm in the eye of the storm, essentially. Or if uh, if those clouds are kind of coming in. Perhaps I am just in the eye of the storm. Although it is getting darker. Oh no, it is. It's becoming nighttime. Kind of cool. What if you can swim under the water? I wonder if that's kind of mapped out. Some low ground. Cool. Oh, what there? Okay. Um, from. Sturdy leaf that is great for weaving. Okay. Oh, new recipe anchor. Does that mean that my um my canoe can be what? Just in case the tide takes it out? We don't want that. Up this rock. Never know when you might need a rock. That's something sleeping. Oh, that's an NPC. Hopefully it's not something that's gonna attack me. Oh, it's... It's pigs. Hey, piggy. And what is this you got here? Oh, you've been blessed with increased stamina. Awesome. I imagine there's probably a few of those throughout the world. Uh, I need one of the... I need a digging tool. Alright, let's see. What... Uh... Oh, a stick spear. Bomb bag. Uh, I think a stick would benefit me, so I can make a spear. Now, how do I get a stick? Apart from the obvious. I just, like, yank this? I sure can. Spear. Please. Uh, how do I? Oh, I'll be to get inventory. Uh, 
use. More actions. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't sure if that actually did anything. There we go. Extra stab. Right, I'm sorry, Mr. Piggy, but... What? <laughs> Jesus. That was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Some bones, got some skin that I can't pick up. I guess because my inventory is full. Uh, well, that's kind of... Or is that the reason that my... Or is it because I, don't, I haven't made a bag yet? Maybe that's it. Um, didn't I pick up something down here that could make... What was it again? Do, yeah, palm frond. Pretty sure I said that I could make a bag out of that. Can't remember what it looks like though. What is that? Ah, right, there we go. Like big daddy pig. Um. Okay. I am the master at sneaking. He has no idea. What's up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Does it just like not care that I just stabbed it? Well, this game is hardly a monster hunter, is it? <laughs> Or maybe, is it looking for me now? Let's see, how do I build that, um, that bag? So I need some more grass rope and two more palm fronds. Okay. I'll make a couple of these. I can't tell if, if he's like annoyed that I just stabbed them and he's trying to find me. Or he's just kind of happy. <laughs> I feel kind of bad now. Alright. Adds seven extra slots to your inventory. You only have one bag equipped at a time. Okay. I wonder if the materials from the first piggy are still around or are they despawned? Oh, they're still here. Oh, got skin and some meat. Let's have a go at. Fighting Mr. Big Daddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, he's annoyed now.
Does that me feeling ill for meeting for meeting a uh, roommate? Is there, is there a roll button? Okay. So, if you're like logged on to it, you can you can roll, although the camera doesn't go with you, which is. Oh man, I think I'm gonna die if I keep fighting this guy. Maybe I'll just leave him. <laughs> We'll agree to disagree. Mm, my health is awfully low. Um, let's see, what, what else can I craft? Burn shovel, hammer, fire. Ah, oh, damn. Should have actually, what do I need to make a fire? I should probably pick up some more sticks here. Just in case um, they're harder to get on other areas. Yeah, I should probably cook some food. Berries. Okay. Stayed on here long enough. <laughs> I think I'm heading into the wind a little bit here, it seems. But that's not too bad. The soundtrack is very wholesome sounding. Got a bit of a Final Fantasy vibe to it as well. Oh! Wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, we can run aground here. Push this up. Up, up, up. Now, what do we have here? This is unexpected. Interesting camera angle that I'm unable to change. What? <laughs> what? They're telling me to... Oh, is it kind of showing me the other lights? I don't understand. 
I don't understand why the, the camera is... ...is doing what it's doing. <laughs> and it won't stop. Can I change it now? No. The cam- the camera is- There we go. Okay. Well that was odd. Cause it just- Like 360'd and, and pointed me into the direction of all the- The other lights. Um... I don't know what I'm missing here. So we've interacted with that. Okay. It's obviously wanting me to go up here. Um... Because I'm unable to... look around at all. Not sure I quite understand. Just the forced camera lock, but... Hmm... Cause, yeah, like I would jump down there, but... Or maybe I will, maybe I'll run all the way down here and, um... Jump over there when it gives me my camera back. At some point. There we go. I better not drop down. It seemed to hurt last time. It definitely looked like there was something up there. Um... Hmm... Having said that... I'm not too sure I can get up. Well... With that camera focus, it was looking at a island over here. Or is that the one that I came from just now? Yeah, that's the one I just came from. Hmm. Well, I'm obviously missing something that I... I just I just can't see at the moment, so Oh there's a map isn't there? That's cool. No! A canoe Let's go to this little little lone tree. I'm gonna try not to run aground. Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to go back there after I um, go to all the other lights. Maybe I ended up at like the end point by accident. I guess that would make sense. Like why nothing was happening. I got over here now. This is all new. Anything interesting on this tree? Maybe. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure what the sea physics are like in this game. I'm really worried that my <laughs> my canoe is just gonna uh, float away. Sea shards. Mysterious crystalline fragments found scattered throughout the archipelago. Uh, they react in the presence of shrines. Okay. Oil bomb. Nice. All right, so just to confirm, yeah, if not, or is that the direction? Show me the direction. I'm just trying to work out if that light over there. Okay, that is where we start off. We'll go to this one. Also, I need some food. Seems like you, <laughs> you barely do anything and you become starving. Seems a little bit forced. Okay, this ain't tasty on this island. I think I'm going straight into the wind, pretty much. It certainly feels like there's a bit of resistance there. What is this? interesting. I have to say, there's a lot of palm trees. I don't think I've seen any coconuts yet. Can I make an axe? Is there anything to eat on this island? <laughs> anything at all? I should probably stop sprinting. Okay. Let's see if I can climb up here. Or if there's a McDonald's or something up here. out of three. Yeah, bugs, bugs aside, I actually am enjoying this game. Um, I think my main gripe is 
the survival aspect of it seems very forced. Um, like, obviously, I, I know that I chose survivalist, right? <laughs> but it seems like you barely do anything and you, you have to uh, eat up. Which, um... Which, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a bit odd. Especially with how limited food there is. Like, if, if I'd realized how, uh, how rare food was, I probably would have killed more of those pigs. But, um... Maybe that's just the whole point of a survival game, right? I think I'll loot, like, everything I can on this... Oh, I can't dig yet. I wonder if you can fish. <laughs> like a fishing rod. Alright, I think I'll, I'll stop here for now, for the first video. Um, I think I've got a pretty good impression of what this kind of game is about in terms of, uh, like, crafting and survival aspects. And, yeah. Graphics are pretty nice. Like, I can see why a lot of people wouldn't like them, considering this game has been released in 2020. But, I like it. It's quaint, it's colourful. The music's really good as well, which is really nice. It's very atmospheric. And the wind physics are kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, I guess it remains to be seen what, like, decent content there is a little bit further further along in terms of crafting and fighting animals and not having to eat a berry every three seconds. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it from me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.